Number 25, the Helix Bridge in Singapore. This bridge across the Singapore River is unique in how it was designed to look like the structure of DNA. Opened in 2010, the Helix Bridge is made mostly from steel and is illuminated at night by ribbons of LED lighting to complement its unique design. Number 24, the Chapel Bridge in Switzerland. Located in the town of Lucerne, the stunning bridge was built in 1333 and crosses over the Rus River diagonally. Rich in history, it's the oldest wooden covered bridge in Europe. The inside of the bridge is decorated by 17th century paintings depicting events in local history, all of which were nearly destroyed in a fire roughly 20 years ago. About two-thirds of the bridge and 85 of the 110 paintings were lost, some dating back to 1611. Only 25 could be saved or restored, and the bridge itself was rebuilt a year later. Number 23, Chenyang Bridge in China. Nicknamed the Wind and Rain Bridge and hidden amongst the rice fields and mountains, this bridge is found in the Guangxi province of China, spanning the Lingxi River. Built in 1916 by the Dong people, an ethnic minority in China, the bridge has five separate pagoda structures with porches and pavilions. The traditional Chinese architecture makes for a fantastic looking structure, but the most amazing thing about this bridge is that during construction not a single nail was used, relying instead on some amazing architectural tricks. Number 22. The Rolling Bridge in England. This unique bridge is found in the Paddington Basin area of London. Something that makes this bridge so special is how every Friday the octagonal shape rolls out to reveal itself as a bridge. Later on during the day it will curl itself back up into its original form, hiding itself away again until it re-emerges the next Friday. The bridge uses hydraulics to achieve this and it was completed in 2004. It was designed by Thomas Heatherwick who also designed the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Cauldron. Number 21, Langkawi Skyway Bridge in Malaysia. The Langkawi Skyway Bridge can be accessed via cable car. It's a 410 foot long curved pedestrian bridge above Gunung Machikang, roughly 2,300 feet above sea level. Once you travel up the mountain via the cable car, the bridge gives tourists the opportunity to view some of the most beautiful sights in the Malaysian mountains and rainforests. Number 20, the Gateshead Millennium Bridge in England. It was opened by the Queen in 2002 and is found in the city of Newcastle, crossing over the Tyne River. The Gateshead Millennium Bridge is unique in that it's one of the few bridges in the world that actually tilts. When it's tilted one way, it turns into a normal pedestrian bridge that the public can cross over. When it's tilted the other way, though, it lets boats and ships pass beneath. The bridge has won many architectural awards for its design and is nicknamed the Winking Eye Bridge because it looks like an eye winking every time it tilts. Number 19. Stary Most, Bosnia. Quite literally translated as Old Bridge in English, Stary Most was thought to be built in 1566 and managed to withstand the test of time until the bridge was destroyed in 1933 during the outbreak of the Bosnian War. More than $13 million had been spent on rebuilding the 16th century bridge and the surrounding buildings until it was finally restored and opened to the public again in 2004. It's a tradition for locals to dive off this bridge into the river below and the bridge is also recognized as a World Heritage Site. Number 18, Akashi Kakyo Bridge in Japan. One of Japan's greatest pieces of engineering, this bridge holds the record for being the longest suspension bridge in the world with a total length of 3,911 meters. It would take four Brooklyn bridges to span the same distance. Opening in 1998, it took 12 years to build and it links the city of Kobe in Hyogo Prefecture to Iwaya in the Awaji Island. Funny enough, it was never built with the intention of being the longest suspension bridge in the world, but in 1995, the Kobe earthquake hit halfway during its construction and consequently added an extra three feet, which gave the bridge its record. The length of the cables used in the bridge totals 300,000 kilometers, which is enough to circle the Earth 7.5 times. Number 17, the Rialto Bridge in Italy. This is another bridge that's rich in history. Built in the 15th century, it crosses over the Grand Canals of Venice. The bridge was technically built before that in 1181 as a small barge that served as the only crossing to get to the other side of the Grand Canal. It was in 1551 when authorities asked for the bridge to be upgraded. Some of the best architects in history, including Michelangelo and Palladio, offered plans to redesign the bridge, but the offer eventually went to Antonio de Ponte. Many architects were skeptical of his plans and predicted failure of the bridge, but he's defied his critics even to this day. The classic Venetian architecture adds to its appeal, and until the 19th century, Rialto Bridge was still the only bridge to span the Grand Canal and the only link between the two sides of Venice until more modern bridges were built. Number 16, Slauerhofbrug Bridge. 
No, this one isn't fake. This extremely bizarre bridge is found in Leeuwarden. Because the vast amount of rivers running through the Netherlands and boat traffic as high as the volume of vehicles, the country needed a bridge able to quickly raise and lower itself to benefit both road and river traffic. This is how the bridge came to be. Constructed in 2000 from iron and steel, it's raised and lowered 10 times a day with the use of hydraulics. Number 15. Octavio Frias de Oliveira Bridge in Brazil. Opened in 2008 and found in the city of Sao Paulo, it took five years to build and 450 workers to build it. The bridge is unusual due to its X-shaped structure in the middle. Another attribute to this bridge is how it has two levels of traffic crossing one another as they pass through the pylon. The bridge is also decorated in LED lights that create amazing views and on special occasions, such as Christmas, the bridge can be lit up like a Christmas tree. Number 14. The Falkirk Wheel in Scotland. There's more to this bridge than its very futuristic design. It's the world's first and only boat lift. That's right, the structure can actually rotate 180 degrees and is equipped with two locks which have 168 meter long tunnels that emerge at the ends of its two wheels. Boats at the bottom sail into these tunnels, the structure then rotates lifting the boats up to the top of the canal. The bridge's unique way of connecting the canals and transporting boats makes it an exceptional feat of modern engineering. Number 13, Henderson Waves Bridge in Singapore. The bridge was designed to look like waves, as you can guess by the name. It connects two of Singapore's parks, Mount Faber Park and Telok Blanga Hill Park, and has a stunning view of Singapore's natural side. At night, it's lit up to add even more beauty to its already artistic design. Henderson Waves is made of steel and timber. Steel is needed for structural purposes, whereas timber celebrates the beauty of the parks that it connects while adding to its classic design. The bridge is equipped with seating, lounging, and sightseeing areas to complement its surrounding view. Siduhe Bridge in China Opening in 2009, the Siduhe Bridge is officially the world's highest bridge and probably the scariest for those who have a fear of heights. It's located an incredible 1,627 feet above ground to achieve this record. To get a scale of how high up this bridge is, it's higher than the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, the Pyramids of Giza, and Big Ben. It sits quietly high above a river gorge in China's Hubei province surrounded by mountains and greenery. Building this bridge was a challenge because of its location. It wasn't possible to use cranes, boats, or even helicopters, so the engineers came up with the interesting idea of using rockets instead. Over 1,000 meters of tether was attached to the end of a rocket and shot all the way across the gorge to set up the foundations. Its unique location and unique way of construction show that this bridge will probably remain the world's highest bridge for years to come. Number 11, the Malau Viaduct in France. This bridge is in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the tallest bridge in the world. It stands at an incredible 1,125 feet to become an engineering masterpiece. The bridge gained international recognition as a major engineering feat and received the Outstanding Structure Award in 2006, one of the most prestigious prizes an architect can win. The New York Times described it as a triumph of engineering and the BBC called it one of the engineering wonders of the 21st century. The president of France opened the bridge in 2004, which cost an estimated 394 million euros, or 524 million dollars. The bridge itself crosses over the Tarn River in Malau and gives drivers some of the most stunning views in all of France, even rising above the clouds on some days. Number 10, Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge in China. While the Siduhe Bridge is the highest bridge in the world and the Malau Viaduct is the tallest bridge in the world, this bridge is the longest bridge in the world. It's a jaw-dropping 102 miles in length and recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records. The rail bridge forms part of the Beijing-Shanghai High Speed Railway, and as the name suggests, it helps link Danyang to Kunshan. Construction started in 2006, took four grueling years to be completed, and then opened in 2011. The huge project cost an unbelievable $8.5 billion and employed roughly 10,000 workers on site. Over 450,000 tons of steel was used for this structure. This beast of a bridge will probably cement itself in history for a long time. Number 9. The Moses Bridge in the Netherlands. Taking a break from the big and grand scale designs, this bridge is appropriately called the Moses Bridge because it splits the water in two, literally. The innovative design was built in a 17th century fortress. The fortress itself was being restored and a bridge was to be built across it, but architects, not content with making the fortress so visible to its enemies, had other things on their minds. They decided to disguise it and put it under the moat's waterline to make it almost invisible. It sits within the moat and allows people to cross virtually undetected from water level. This artistic design creates a great illusion that you're walking through the water as the bridge blends in with the landscape. It's entirely made of wood and is waterproof so there's no worries about getting your feet wet.
Number eight, Kaju Bridge in Iran. The Kaju Bridge was built by the Persian king Shah Abbas II during the 17th century. It has 23 arches, and the bridge also functions as a dam, controlling the waters of the Zayende River it looks over. The remains of stone seats built for Shah Abbas II to sit on and admire the view still remain. In the center, a pavilion was built exclusively for his pleasure, originally as a tea house. Number 7. The Brooklyn Bridge in the USA Completed in 1883, the Brooklyn Bridge has become a national historic landmark and has become an icon of New York. It's situated perfectly behind the tall skyscrapers of New York City to create an amazing view. It connects Manhattan to Brooklyn and crosses the East River. John A. Roebling originally planned the Brooklyn Bridge but died shortly before construction began. His son Washington Roebling continued his work but he himself was struck with disease and confined to an apartment overlooking the construction site. Emily Roebling, his wife, gave his instructions to the workers and was practically chief engineer until the bridge was completed. It was the biggest of its kind back then and was an engineering feat of the 19th century. P.T. Barnum famously led a group of circus animals, including a herd of 21 elephants across the bridge in 1884 to prove that it was stable. Number 6. The Sydney Harbour Bridge in Australia Otherwise nicknamed the Coat Hanger, this bridge was built in 1815. Francis Greenway proposed building a bridge from the northern to the southern shore of the harbor. In 1990, design submissions were sent in, but all the submissions were considered unsuitable. Fast forward to World War I, and officials started to take the project to hand. An architect was found, and Sydney Harbor Bridge construction started in 1924. It took 1,400 men eight years to build at a cost of 4.2 million pounds, or $6.61 million. Six million hand-driven rivets and 53,000 tons of steel were used in its construction. Fast forward to today, and it's now one of the world's most recognizable bridges, especially during the Sydney Harbour New Year celebrations. Number 5. Pont Alexandre III in France. Elegance is the best word to describe this bridge. Located in Paris, construction started in 1896 and finished in 1900. It was built in the Art Nouveau style and is decorated with statues of nymphs, cherubs, winged horses, angel ships, and vintage lamps along its sides to create one of the most decorated bridges in the world. Despite being French, it's named after Alexander III, the Emperor of Russia, to honor the Franco-Russian alliance. Alexander's son, Nicholas II, laid the first stone during the start of the construction. The statues gleaming in gold, bronze, copper, and stone complement the Parisian style of the bridge. Number 4. Bampo Bridge in South Korea From the vintage to the modern, this really awesome bridge is found in Seoul and crosses the Han River. The bridge itself was actually created in 1982, but in 2007, a project was launched to revive the area. In 2009, the project did just that. The Koreans had the amazing idea of adding fountains across both sides. During the day, the fountain shoots 190 tons of water per minute from each side of the bridge from its 380 nozzles. At night, the color of the fountain will be transformed to a rainbow by the 10,000 LED lights which create various colorful effects. The water jets are dynamic and can move in time with the music, creating spectacular, ever-changing displays. As well as being stylish, the bridge is also environmentally friendly and the water is pumped directly from the river itself and continuously recycled. In 2008, the fountain made it to the Guinness Book of World Records as the longest bridge fountain. This bridge is not only a triumph to Korea, but to architecture as well. Number 3. The Golden Gate Bridge in the USA Probably one of the most famous bridges in the world, the Golden Gate Bridge has become an icon not only to San Francisco but to the whole of the United States. Designed by engineer Joseph Strauss, it was built to connect San Francisco with Marin County and to cross the strait known as the Golden Gate, giving it its name. Starting in 1933, it would take thousands of workers four years and $35 million to complete. When the bridge was completed in 1937, it broke two records, becoming the world's longest and tallest suspension bridge. It received international recognition, had magnificent views of the Pacific Ocean, defied critics, and was praised for its Art Deco design and trademark red color. The bridge's records would soon be broken in the future, but it still keeps its popularity and iconic status to this day. Number 2. Tower Bridge in England From one historical landmark to another, this time we head to Europe, England to be exact. In the 19th century, London Bridge was the only way of crossing the Thames River. As London grew, more bridges were added to the west side of London Bridge. The east side, however, became a busy port, and it quickly became apparent that a new bridge was needed. Planning started in 1884 when a design was chosen from over 50 submissions. It took 8 years, 432 workers, and over 11,000 tons of steel to build what we know now as Tower Bridge. The Prince of Wales opened the bridge in 1884, and it helped relieve the stress of the east side. The bridge would become one of the world's most recognized bridges due to its iconic design. It has two towers 
at the ends of each bank. The middle section of the bridge can raise up and down to let ships sail past, which is done with the use of hydraulics. The bridge is not only an icon of London, but to the whole of the UK. And number one, Ponte Vecchio. Ponte Vecchio is a medieval bridge found in the city of Florence crossing over the Arno River, and is so ancient that it dates back to the Roman times. Destroyed by a flood in 1333, it was rebuilt in 1345 by Taddeo Gatti. In 1565, Giorgio Vasar was commissioned to upgrade the bridge, adding an upper corridor above it. This bridge is famous for the fact that houses are positioned along its span, some of them prodding out to the side. Initially, however, they were workshops where shopkeepers such as butchers and tanners worked practicing their trades. In 1593, they were replaced with goldsmiths because the shops produced too much garbage and caused a foul stench. The Ponte Vecchio was the only bridge in Florence that survived World War II unscathed, and it was the only bridge spared by the Germans during the siege in Italy.